Right guys, welcome back to my YouTube. As you can see, I'm in my old gym. Um, been here for three and a half years. And as of now, we've moved. Uh, looks a bit weird. It's actually very echoey now, because nothing in here. Uh, yeah, not very sad. Quite chuffed that we're moving on to bigger and better things. You know, we, we originally came in here, didn't have a lot of stuff. This time got on, you know, as you see from some of the videos, um, we just got a bit cluttered in this room and then we ended up getting the room um, outside, which is a bit of an extension. You see where things used to be kind of because of what's been left. You know, we had the four platforms here. Um, this corner one was where I used to park my axle and where I did all my big axle deadlifts in this corner. Uh, obviously my log was here. You know, I'm a log lifting, usually around about here. Um, you know, the bench set up there, and another platform there, and then obviously the model lift was there. So um, it all fit quite snug, but uh, as you see in the new place, a lot more space. Almost looks like we've done it there, uh, like with COVID in mind. It looks like we're all socially distancing, really, but you know, space is good. Uh, you know, and we used to have people over, you know, for collaborations when I had Lawrence and Felix over. It just gets a little bit too close in here. Um, there's not enough space for everybody. It won't be like that in the new place. So hopefully I can have a lot more people come uh, and it won't feel like that. So, and in the corner, obviously we had our stones there. Uh, that was actually the hardest thing to move was the stone platform. <laughs> because it was so long. It wasn't particularly heavy, just awkward. Um, and it took overall between five and six guys to get it out of here and into the new place. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can get a lot more stone work in. It's, uh, it's all set up in the new place. I've got a stone over the oak set up and I've got a, the Atlas stone set up so with the, with the uh, stone run. So. The stones have always been pretty good anyway. You know, like I've, 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 I've never competed with anybody that's shorter than me. Um, and I've always done quite well at stones. People always seem to forget that. I think the fact that I'm good at log just disguises the fact that I'm still good at everything else. Um, you know, people realise I'm pretty good at deadlift now. Uh, maybe they'll remember I'm quite good at stones as well. But, um, yeah. Britain's is in four months again. So I'm going to start training for that very soon. I still haven't got around to taking that down. I've moved that thing so many times over the years. I know how much of a pain it is, so um, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've got the lease here till the end of the year. So at some point I'll, I'll come and get that and uh, take it to the new place. But yeah, uh, not too sad to see it go. Um, I'm just looking forward to the future. The new gym is gonna be, you know, very good. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Really nice location on Morecambe Bay, as you'll see. You know, my new camera guy will show you. Um, just everything about it, it's a lot more positive, a lot more things I can do for myself, you know, even as a gym business, maybe open the gym up. Um, There's just a lot more opportunity for me going there than there was here. You know, go to a new place and I'll be the only gym there. There's a cafe, which is very handy. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll show you that just now. Right guys, uh, here we are on Morecambe Bay. Um, it's not raining and it's not too windy so hopefully you can hear me. Um, but you know, beautiful scenery here. People come from all over the country. We have, you know, miles of beach. Um, quite privileged really to say that this is where I'm moving to. So this is the building here where the gym's located. Um, this is the car park. So uh, even that is a big, big tick. You know, it's a, it's a much nicer location for me. Better view, uh, you know, and a lot more space. Uh, it's a bit more out of the way, but still not too far from home. 
Um, but yeah, that's all there really is out here. Nice big car park and the sea. So um, we'll take you inside and show you inside. One of the best things about this, probably my wife would disagree with me, probably one of the worst things for me is that there's a cafe next door. So, you know, I love food, so. <laughs> right, this is the new place. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger. And uh, we're doing quite well at filling it already. Um, we'll, let's have a walk around. We'll start off with fire. I'll put all, some of my trophies in there. Try and make this a bit more of a, a display cabinet for mainly myself and probably with my wife because she's going to be competing a lot soon. Uh, she's going to do her first powerlifting competition uh, in December. Uh, she just needs to get herself on that scoreboard. Um, she's pretty strong. If any of you follow me, you'll know and you'll see from the future videos. She's pretty strong, so um, no doubt she'll probably take over that trophy cabinet at some point in the future. <laughs> um, one of the things that I really wanted for myself when we moved here was two lanes for uh, Astro. Mainly because you know a lot of time in Strongman now you've got maybe a yolk into farmers or you know there's some some type of medley. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had two tracks and then you know like if if I'm training farmers and someone else is training yolk we can do that as well. Um, it was a bit more difficult at the last place. Even in the uh, other building, uh, even in the other room where we'd put the turf, you know, where we'd built that wall, it flooded a lot um, and we only had the one track. But, you know, there is a few, a couple of little leaks in here, but they're gonna get fixed very soon. But, you know, like a nice dry Astro run. Uh, it's not stuck down yet. Still gotta get around to doing that. But, you know, it's fine for running on just now. Um, here we're going to have, I've got to get a couple of benches ordered, we've got our cable crossover, nice big mirror, um, I'm just going to have a load of dumbbells and some benches here, um, I wouldn't say it was really for me, <laughs> this area I probably wouldn't be in this area very much, um, but it's a good thing to have, good nice set of dumbbells and some benches um, for a lot of the assistance stuff. I will be in here, I say that I won't be in here, I will end up being in here, but I'm always going to be predominantly over there. Uh, we've ordered up to 50 kilos for now. If they do hit more than 50, they need to be on really lifting somewhere else with me. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got our first platform here. Um, what we're going to do is have another platform there, obviously work in progress, but you can see where it's going to go. Um, and then we have this same thing over here. So where the log is now, um, this actually won't be here. I'm gonna have another platform there. Um, and then you've got the cage here on another platform. So, you know, we'll have four lifting platforms. We're gonna have two cages. I've got the mono lift in the middle. You know, these, these things are um, quite the specimen. I probably won't use it very much. Um, I bought it when I was doing my power lifting. Um, I thought I'd get myself a mono lift. Um, and <laughs> since then I've not really used it, but my wife uses it every week. So uh, it's a good investment. So it's for her to use, not me. Here we're gonna have two benches, just where the camera guy stood. But, uh, there's just one here at the moment. I've got one on order. Um, yeah, so we'll have two competition style bench press stations one mono lift, four platforms, and two with cages. So plenty for people to be getting at. I uh, haven't fully decided how I'm gonna set this up, but you know, anyone that follows Strongman, that follows me, knows that the axle deadlift is pretty much a necess necessity uh, for me to train. I kind of wanted it so that I'm probably just gonna build a a nine inch box in the middle and then deadlift onto these. Um, I don't really need any fancy platform. Maybe I'll put one piece of wood down, but you know, it's it's an axle. It doesn't really need anything fancy. I could probably go and do it on the Astro turf if I wanted, but for now it's got its own home. It's gonna sit here. Um, that was 
probably the big big factor in this place I want everything to have its own station so that if I'm training something I haven't got to spend 20 minutes setting it up I want it to be there ready for me um, you know like these sessions take long enough I don't want them to take even longer by trying to set stuff up so you know if I'm deadlifting on this I deadlift on this if I'm going to go log I log if I'm going to go and use the cage the cage is there you know like I want to make sure things are available um, I don't want anything to take up my time by setting it up so this is going to live here um, for now it looks like this I'm sure at some point in the future it'll develop into something a bit more prettier but as I explained this is the log station so I've got my slate log all the way from America I didn't buy this thing just so I could stare at it I did buy this thing because I am going to try and get the world record again one day so um, hopefully next year I can start that again I say hope I am going to start that again um, but you know I just wanted to get a bit better shape this year and not just be a log press specialist um, and these pads are like judo pads so this station will stay here I can do axle on here um, sometimes if I do dumbbell I just quickly whip them off throw them over here and I do dumbbell and drop them on there this is the stone platform just taken from the old gym as it was um, it's actually <coughs> we actually measured it higher so when when I load to this this is higher than the one that we do in the contest um, I originally built it off world strongest man specs um, but I don't think they use them anymore I haven't seen them for a very long time so now it's more or less going to be to the Giants live specs except it's slightly higher which isn't a bad thing um, but I've done it all different here but I've bolted all the uh, rubbers down because one of the things that people struggle with when they're doing stones when they put the stone up the floor comes with them so a bit of a tip there a big washer and a big screw straight through uh, I haven't tested it yet but one of the lads has used the platform and it said it works just fine so um, it only really works when I've tested it because I'm the one that usually breaks everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I gave the dimensions to the to the guy. Um, I probably should have made them slightly wider because the clearance between each stone isn't quite great. You know, you can get them a little bit too close together, but you know, I can't complain. I can get some good stone practice on here now. Um, and over the years, you know, I haven't actually used this very much. You know, when I got it built. Um, it was after I won the Britons and I haven't done much strongman since and then this year I've got back into strongman but you know my training has been limited due to injuries so I haven't actually done that much stone training on here most of my training has been on that which has been the stone over yoke and the last gym the pain in the butt for this was I had to set it up every week and that was a real real pain in the ass you know I had to get the yoke out I had to get the pad out I had to sort the floor out and obviously you see how much space was in there I used to take over all the, the middle of the gym people couldn't walk past now it's set up ready to go um, and I just roll whichever stone in I want you know I've got a good selection of stones so again that was a big a big important thing for me it's saving me a lot of time going forward I can just get in straight into stone over yoke if I'm going to train stone over yoke. I can get straight in and do an Atlas stone run if I want to do an Atlas stone run. Um, we've got a little run of machines, assistance machines down here. This will probably end up being a row there and a row all the way down there. Um, I do use quite a few of these um, and I don't use quite a few of these. But it, this gym isn't just for me. so. We're going to try and get a good selection of things that are for everybody. Me squat, got the leg extension, got a hamstring curl machine, you've got the adductor machine, which I've invested in trying and you know fix my groin injury that I've had now for well too long. Uh, you've got the glute ham raise, and then you've got a nice glorious stepper, which I don't go on. <laughs> I don't even think it's meant to take 150 kilos anyway. Uh, cross trainer and a spin bike and I've just I've just bought this seated row over there haven't really given it a position yet uh, I'm sure we'll move that later 
I want to pull down that. See, this, this machine here, I, I, I trained at gym in Lancaster 10 years ago, and this, this machine's from there. And I think if we just give it a look at liquor paint, get some new upholstery, and you won't know. <laughs> it's in very good nick, so. Um, we've almost missed something that I hate training, but I've got it so is the Hercules hold. Um, you know, it's a big part of the shows now. I'm not going to be able to avoid it. I'm going to have to improve my, my grip endurance. I can get on that, set it up, it's there ready to go. I just need someone to pick one side up, pass me the handle, and, and I'm good to go. So I only need one pair of hands to help me. Yeah, um, and that's just set up for me. I've got no excuses. Uh, and that's pretty much the gym guys, I mean there's a room next door, I'm not going to show you that, um, that's going to be something completely different to this gym, but it's going to be something very very relevant, um, to be continued is all I'm going to say on that, we're hopefully going to be going into business with somebody and we're going to be selling you guys products that you will use and need in your training, so keep your ears and your eyes peeled for that. Um, in this little room here, it's going to be my office. Oh, well, it isn't going to be, it is my office. Uh, still work in progress. But I can work from here. Uh, I can do my, my day job from here. I can do my coaching from here. Uh, it's just a nice to have a nice office. I mean, I've been working from home now due to COVID for obviously, like the rest of us for the best part of 18 months. Um, we're not going back into the offices at work, but I am restricted for space at home and having this room here was a great opportunity for me to just take advantage of it. Um, you know, because where they have the office now, I, I couldn't be in there anymore because the conservatory is leaking. So I moved my stuff in here, got a sofa to chill out. Um, yeah, and it's probably, there's probably less distractions for me in here than at home because at home I've got the kitchen and I've got the TV don't have them two things in here yet but you know uh, all in all it's a really 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 nice place for me to start up a business for me to be training for my wife to be training anybody that knows me knows I've got three kids so we have a kids corner <laughs> from my eldest Layla, she likes to do gymnastics, uh, it's got like a small puncture in this thing but we put this on the astro turf and she can do a, a flips and a, a crazy whatever you call them, back flips, front flips, cartwheels, you can do it all on here so you know this 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 will probably be featuring in a few videos at some point I'm sure, you'll see her in the background doing some nonsense on there and then just some little general bits and bats from my other kids. Um, you know, hopefully they're going to be probably at nursery or at school most of the time if they're being good. But, you know, like if they come here after school, then at least they've got something to do and something to play on while, you know, maybe I'm training. Um, and I can keep an eye on them because they're not far. So, yeah, it's a massive upgrade. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Um, any questions, please ask away. Any future videos you want to see of me, please recommend. And obviously, please subscribe, guys. Um, I'm going to try and make a, a decent thing of this YouTube channel. I can only do that if I've got subscribers. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. I thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.